another assist. Back to Nash, she cranks up a three. Shazam! Super shot time for the Nash Rambler. His ability to pass the basketball, uh, if you watched him play every night like we got to for so many years here in Phoenix, he kind of ruined it watching other point guards. Uh, he could have been a shoot first guy. He was arguably the best shooter in NBA history when you look at the numbers. Very few players average or, or hit 50% of their field goals, 40% of their three-pointers, 90% of their free throws, even for a single season. He did that during his time in Phoenix overall. The guy was a phenomenal shooter, a phenomenal passer. The best aspect of Steve Nash's game was obviously the pick and roll. He ran it to perfection with Amari Stoudemire. Nobody could stop it. That was one of the great plays during the Nash era was the pick and roll because he could pop and shoot or he could pass it to Amari and it was so difficult to defend. You're not supposed to dribble the ball too much, yet Nash had an uncanny ability to dribble all over the place, whether it was all the way underneath the basket from left to right or right to left, always looking for the open man. He also had the ability to shoot from any angle, off any foot. His best jumper usually came off of one foot and he had to put that ball high up over the top of the defender in front of him. Steve Nash was one of the best shooters of his era. Unfortunately, I think the sons of later years kind of went away from Steve Nash as an offensive guy and looked at him more as a distributor, which I always thought was a mistake because Steve Nash could just flat out shoot the rock.